hey guys welcome back to another video today i will show you how you can use a joho api version 2 in order to insert a lead through postman so let's get started so as you can see uh, in order to use or in order to uh, insert a lead into joho you need to create an account in joho first so i already created an account in joho so at first what you need you need to go to the uh, api-console.joho.com uh, to create a client id and client secret so let's go there and click on get started and here you need to choose the self client so let's click on create now and then let's click on create all right so let's confirm it by clicking ok so here you can see the, this is the client id and client secret but uh, there is another tab so let's click on that so uh, here you need to provide a scope so what scope is it, it will allow you to uh, uh, it, it will give, give you the permission in order to create the leads or contacts or any other things you, you want to do with the joho api uh, 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 the scope will allow you to do those things so let's add those scopes first so in order to add the scope let's go to the uh, uh, joho api documentation so this is the joho api documentation the url is joho.com slash crm slash developer slash docs slash api slash if you want to insert um, go to the insert record then you can go insert dash records dot html so if you go there here you will see the uh, scope for the insertion of records so there is the scope for it so you can just copy it from here and let's go back there and you can just paste it actually you can paste it this one this one uh, is for the overall scope uh, this will allow if you use this then you can do anything uh, or it will allow to do anything with the joho api but uh, since we are doing only with the you know modules of the joho we just this is scope only and uh, another thing we need to keep in mind that whenever we create this uh, code or generate this part of code this part of code only active uh, stay active for the specific minutes that we uh, that we can define here from here so it is maximum 10 minutes so we should be better be quick So that means uh, if uh, we you know create this or click on the create button then we can have only 10 minutes to uh, generate all the things so after the 10 minutes it this code will not work so we need to recreate or regenerate this code again so let's click on uh, create and this time we need to create our portal and this is my name of the Joho CRM so let's create and this is the uh, code for the scope scope name so we need to uh, copy it somewhere around so let's click on copy and uh, we need to put it somewhere else so let's open a notepad for that and paste it here all right so let's keep this one for the next use all right so so now we are ready to go to the postman because we now we have uh, you know three things we have the client id the client secret and the scope code so let's open our postman and uh, let's uh, open a tab so the first request has to be happen quickly within the 10 minutes so let's do it quickly so uh, it, it should be a post request and the post request URL is uh, is the URL that I'm gonna give you uh, it is the this one 
the https slash accounts dot joho dot com slash o slash v2 slash token so the next thing is uh, to uh, uh, provide the header so the header key is the content type and the content type uh, is actually the application uh, slash uh, x www form dash url encode all right so for the body part we need uh, several things and the request is the same uh, www dash form url encode so the first one is the code and this one is the scope code that we just created and that will expire in 10 minutes time and second one is the uh, redirect URI so redirect URI actually it can be it should be your redirect URI so you can say like example.com slash let's say your callback it can anything specifically your callback uh, redirect URL so the next thing is the client ID and the client ID that we can find from is this one so let's copy it and paste it here and the next thing is client secret client secret and the client secret we can also find it from here all right so let's go back to the postman again all right so the next thing is the grant type and the grant type is the authorization code So, this should be exactly the same that I have written here, authorization code. Alright, so we are set up, so better be quick. So, this is the URL and this uh, five parameters we need. The code, redirect URI, client ID, client secret, run type. Alright, so let's hit on the send button and let's see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, our request was successful and it returns access token refresh token api domain token type and expires in so from there what we need for the next step is the refresh token because what joho does for the first request uh, we use the scope code client id and client secret in order to take the refresh token only and remember the code that uh, we ha we have generated from the scope uh, scope code that will expire within the 10 uh, 10 minutes so we cannot uh, uh, get it from the second request but the refresh token will never be expired so we are safe now so in the next request what we will do we will send another request in order to get the access token to use the api so let's open another tab and it will also be a post request and the URL is same actually all right and the header would be the same again so let's just uh, copy it from here it should be the content type and it is come uh, the value is auto filled so the body the request is the url encode from your link code and the body will be a bit different this time and the first one is the refresh token all right so let's add this one refresh token and the the value is this one the refresh token that we have we get from the first request all right and the next one is the client id 
and the next one is the client secret and the next one is grant type okay let's put the value from there to there okay so the grant type this time the grant type should be should not be the authorization code but the refresh token all right so we are good to go so let's hit on the send button again and let's see what happened all right so as you can see the response is coming back and it gives us a access token again so this time this access token can be used in order to send a api request to the joho by which we can create a lead or contact or any other thing we want but this for this tutorial we just create a we will just create a lead so let's open another tab and this time our url should be a bit different okay so and it it will also be a post request and the url is this one so the last part is actually the module name so if we go to the browser and the documentation as you can see this is the request url and the last part is basically the module name so because we are inserting the leads so this one this is why uh, here we will just insert the uh, module name and it is leads for contacts you need to add the contacts or for any other module you need to put exactly the module name like this one like contacts like accounts like deals tasks etc all right so let's go back to the postman again and this time we need to uh, put the headers first but this time our header uh, key would be the authorization so this is the authorization and authorization value uh, i'm just copying because i do not want to make any mistakes here joho dash o auth token and the token and i need to add a space here and the token is from the second request access token remember this is this access token is from the second request not from the first request okay from the second request so let's put it here so we are good to go from the header so let's go back to the body okay so here we need to check on the raw because we want to pass the uh, raw data from here okay so let's open and we uh, want a uh, want to you know uh, send a uh, json data json object actually from there so the format is like data and it's an array so inside that we want another object so and here in order to create a lead we need to pass some mandatory fields first and if you want to know uh, which are the mandatory fields for this uh, I, I, I will just pass the mandatory fields first so you uh, you will understand or you will know which are the mandatory fields so first one is the company okay so let's say let's say personal company and the next one is the last name and it should be written as exactly as i am right, writing now last underscore name let's say uh, uh, let's say doi okay and next one is the first name let's say chain all right so the next one let's say email let's 
let's say chain toy at gmail.com and let's also pass the state uh, let's say uh, let's say Cape Town all right and the next thing we need to pass another object it is trigger and the value is approval workflow and blueprint these are the values that Joho needs actually but this is the main data object that you need you want to uh, insert into into your leads all right so that's it for the data set so let's uh, send our request and let's see what happens into the Joho CRM dashboard so let's hit send okay it, it is saying invalid data so let's check what we have done wrong okay sorry what we have done wrong is that we selected raw but we need to select the format of the data and it is the json so let's try it again let's hit on send okay and I'm find uh, I found another issue. It should be the array, not the object. Okay, is there any error? No. Okay. So third time lucky. Let's see what happens now. Let's click on the send. All right. So this is the success message returned. So let's see. And it is already saying the record is added. But let's verify. So let's go back in our dashboard so this is already added joho lead so let's hit refresh and let's see okay so as you can see the jane doi has been added so let's click on the details click on let's open the new tab so we can verify that other details whether the other details has been added or not all right then so as you can see the data has been added jane doe personal company so the company name the lead name email and the other stuffs the state those thing has been added so the fields name there are a lot of fields that you can add so i just showed you the basic fields so you can learn more things about the joho fields that which are mandatory and, who, uh, and which other fields that you can send but the purpose was the, uh, of this video was that you can skip through the sdk that joho provides and you can use your uh, common knowledge uh, or common skills by skipping the sdk you can still use your uh, your skills and uh, insert the uh, data into the Joho CRM as well. So I hope you like this video. If you so, then please do like this video. And uh, and in the in the in the next video, I will show you uh, how we can use this concept uh, and uh, use the curl into the PHP with the PHP and insert uh, insert the data into the uh, Joho CRM as well. So until the next video. Be happy and stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.